Joining me now is Hala Ayala. She is a Democratic nominee in the 2021 Virginia Lieutenant Gubernatorial Election. So good of you to join us today, and it's a pleasure to have you on. Let, let's get right to, first of all, the history-making uh, aspects of your candidacy. What does it mean to you as a woman of color? Thank you so much uh, for uh, having me here today. I am so excited uh, to be with you all and your viewer and your viewers. Um, you know, it would be an honor to break the glass ceiling, but this election is so much more than that. In addition to looking like many Virginians, uh, I also share my community's lived experiences. I know what it's like trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents in order to keep you know, a roof over my head and put food on the table. And I've taken my lived experiences with me to the House of Delegates, where I voted to expand Medicaid, increase access to education, deliver gun safety reforms and the Equal Rights Amendment, um, but also protecting individuals' right to choose. And I'll continue to not only bring my lived experiences, but the lived experiences of the Virginians I've spoken with and the voters to the forefront, to the table. Um, this election cycle, to your point, is it, it very much matters which woman is elected and wins this, this election this November the 2nd. And we need to make sure that the woman in this seat is advancing the policies and priorities of Virginians, protecting our teachers and schools, getting women back to work, getting us vaccinated and protected against COVID and protecting our right to choose. There's so many important uh, things for the Democrat Party. Uh, your candidate, of course, is pushing for some of the same issues that you're putting forward in terms of strengthening schools. How do you differ on strengthening schools, however, for the communities and the students and the parents, if you will, in terms of education for the Commonwealth of Virginia? Well, you know, we are making sure that we want a world-class education for our children. Um, you know, I have a child that has attended public schools. We want to make sure we're funding uh, those school systems and helping our teachers get the pay that they deserve so we have a world-class education. Um, and this means paying teachers above the national average. We started that conversation um, in the House of Delegates as, um, you know, we've raised teacher pay, historically so, but we have more work to do. do. It's the floor, not the ceiling. Um, and we should be really focusing on investing in public education. I was a former PTO president and worked alongside teachers and students to make sure that they had the tools that they needed to succeed. And I've seen firsthand how dedicated our children and our teachers are to our children. And what about the issue of gun violence in the state of Virginia? How important is that to you? And what has to be done, in your opinion, to make sure that gun violence is brought under control and you can reduce crime and also reduce deaths caused by gun violence? Absolutely. Um, my family uh, struggled growing up. I lost my dad to gun violence at a very young age. I stood in food lines and healthcare was always uncertain. So this is deeply personal for us. And, or, and for me, um, running for office has definitely been the privilege of my life. And we've passed, during my time as a delegate, we've passed historic legislation for gun safety reforms across this commonwealth. This is a national and our Commonwealth, it is a crisis. It's a public and health and safety crisis. We need to ban ghost guns and other undetectable firearms. We need to make sure that our kids aren't scared going to schools um, or that there will be a gun there. And that's heartbreaking. Uh, the current Lieutenant Governor has casted 52 tie-breaking votes, too, in which these votes delivered gun safety reforms, like red flag laws, and reporting a lost and stolen firearm. And that is the piece of legislation that I've carried. Um, this shouldn't be such a close issue or a closed issue, but it is. And this is just common sense. We need to make sure that every Virginian feels safe in their communities, their schools, their churches, their grocery stores. Um, and that is uh, what I'll do as Lieutenant Governor. It's personal for me.
And Holly, speaking of personal, you are, of course, uh, uh, you describe yourself as an African Latina. It's, a, it's an important uh, component in this race. It's history making, as you talked about. But how do you tackle the racial divide that's in the Commonwealth of Virginia? What do you propose to bring people together in unity? Since this race is so close, you and Terry McAuliffe, who's running for governor, lead your opponents mm -hmm. by 49 percent to 48 percent. It's razor thin. It's divided on racial lines, educational lines, political lines. How do you, upon winning, bring people together? This is such a great question. Um, first and foremost, representation matters. Um, our historic election in 2017 brought in the most diverse class. And I was proud to stand with my fellow caucus mates and black caucus mates um, as we put forward so many reforms across the Commonwealth to remove Jim Crow and bird laws from our books. Uh, as far as me personally, I always joke, it's like ragu, I'm, it's in there, meaning I'm an Afro-Latina, Lebanese Irish woman, and I celebrate the tap tapestry of not only the diversity in which I bring to the table, but the diversity of Virginians. Uh, but in all seriousness, in the debates of the political rhetoric, we lose uh, the fact that we are all Virginians. We all come to the table wanting what's best for our kids. We want what's best for our grandparents, our workers, our, our neighbors. And every Virginian, every Virginian's voice is valued. Um, I bring that to the table and this is what is our strength. That is our diversity, it is our strength. And I'll continue to bring those voices to Richmond. Ala Ayala, Democratic nominee in the 2021 Virginia Lieutenant Gubernatorial Election. Thank you for joining us here on The World Tonight. We appreciate you so much.